Here we have a Keck Universal Mill system uh, comprising the basic mill, uh, which is down here, being fed above from a volumetric screw feeder, which controls the in feeder product down through the uh, combined inlet and air intake system here, where the product mixes with the, uh, with the incoming air and then drops down into the grinding chamber inside the mill. As a universal mill, the unit can be fitted with interchangeable grinding media and the grinding media fits inside the main body of the mill here. Uh, you can see the inlet coming in through, and passing through the centre of the, the door into the main grinding chamber. This uh, grinding mill has no grinding media fitted yet and we're about to show the interchangeable Media. For example of interchangeable grinding media is the pin disc arrangement. Here we have the fixed stator mounted on the door and here we have the rotor which connects to the main drive. The machine is now set up with the pin disc arrangement with the rotor here attached to the drive shaft and the stator attached to the door. Removal of the grinding media to either clean or perform maintenance or to change to an alternative type of grinding media is simply a case of removal of the stator from the door by removing the screws. And simply pulling that off. So there's the stator. And then removal of the rotor from the main drive. With the grinding media removed, the mill is left with nice, clean, easy access lines, hygienic and ideal to perform maintenance and regular cleaning operations. This is the alternative grinding media, it's the turbine and screen arrangement. In this uh, setup, the high speed rotor is uh, mounted onto the main drive shaft, uh, turbine blades here perform the impact grinding and then an outer screen assembly as shown here is stationary and provides a degree of classification and additional cutting with the inset cutter blocks. Fitting of the screen assembly is a simple case of mounting inside onto the back wall of the mill and fastening from behind with with the screen assembly in place, we can now fit the rotor, which is simply mounted straight onto the drive shaft, and then located with screws. The finished assembly operates with the fixed outer screen with the cutter blocks and the internal rotating turbine product enters into the eye of the mill through this hole from the inlet on the door, is ground and passes out past the screen assembly and discharged below into the collection system.